so i have started data types right so in the data types we have a some exception and we have a exception with long and plot so long you can see now this will indicate long and this is your plot so here inside this long we are not able to store float okay so let me show you this okay so inside this long we are just uh, storing the long inside this float i am storing the long type okay but long having the four byte right but float having the uh, sorry long having the eight byte right but float having the four byte but if you will try to store inside this long float value you will get compile time error so whatever we have seen in the previous data type the size is long is 8 byte so i am storing the long here float i am storing the float having the 4 byte a storing the long it will compile or execute but here when you will try to store inside this long in the float type you will get compile time error so this is the exception in data type okay you can see incompatible type lossy conversion line number 8 okay so here it is going to indicate internally what happened the size of long is 8 byte and size of float is 4 byte but still we cannot store float directly in the long but we can store long directly in the float because internally jvm follow the different memory representation okay that is the exception in data types okay so let me summarize this all the things whatever we have learned okay now this okay one second guys let me file close this all the class okay you can see now we have a in integer you are storing the float value right here you will get compile time error here you want we get any error we have a integer type simply we are storing here you will get compile time error right this is your float type and you are storing the double type right double yeah we are storing the double type boolean we are storing the boolean type here this is a not a keyword right all the keyword in the a small cap so here you will get compile time error right this is your char char tab so simply i am storing char tab and in uh, a string we are storing the uh, a string tab so you can see compile you can see uh, java line number 5 incompatible type lossy conversion and incompatible type lossy conversion and he cannot find the symbol so all this we are getting the compile time error okay so just whatever we have learned we have you know next topic is your array okay so one second i'm just searching one point here yes okay so in java we having the four ways to store the value or object so here the question is why we use an array right why the use uh, what is the use of an array and why they have given array concept so this is our agenda so we having the four ways to store the value okay in java so first if you have a requirement to store only single value that we will use variable right using class object can store multiple values of different type so why we use the class object if you have a non static member then we will create an object and we can use a store the multiple a static and non static means different type here using array why we use an array can 
store multiple fixed number of value okay if you have a requirement to a store multiple fixed value number or uh, same types means similar type that is the huge but i will tell you the many things inside this array but i just i'm going to give you the overview so every uh, whatever the ways we have written here so this is ha have a, the specific requirement this is also have a specific requirement and can store multiple object same or different type okay can a store multiple object same or different type without size limitation you can see every ways having the different or a specific reason to use it we cannot use this so main topic is your uh, sorry uh, here the main things why we use an array if you want to store multiple element in a single variable or similar type but it is a fixed in the size okay this is the one a specific reason to use an array but why we use the collection we having the many disadvantage of an array then we should go for collection i will tell you what is the disadvantage of an array okay so let me start this array test dem okay okay so no problem okay i think uma you joined first day right i think she joined right yeah uh, uh, yes mom so you know some basics of the java because we have took three and four classes and we are learning the java only uh, might be will not understand 100% if you are the beginner okay but i will give you some backup session okay yeah so here uh, just i was discussing about of array so if you have if you cannot store like this value right if you have to store multiple value or multiple things it is not recommended to use and this is not this code is not readable read format and all right and it will uh, uh, what happened it will Uh, memory uh, this this will increase the complexity and not readable or your application will be very slow so if you have a uh, if you want to store the multiple element but in the fixed in size and same type and similar type then we will use this one concept that is called array int here file okay and here let me show you this is the this is called one d array so let me see this is the we have a here and this the okay so when you will write new keyword then what happen object will be created which type we want to store integer type right and this bracket will indicate your location or the size okay so we have defined the size is 5 got it right so what happened this array is working on the index so here we have a size is 5 size is 5 and this is your and index will start from 0 right 0 1 2 3 4 so which type it is integer type so by default the value will store so integer default value is 0 it will store here zero value okay this whatever you are writing this side right so this is the when you will write new this will define your type and this bracket will inside this bracket we are defining the lo uh, location or size of an array so by default the whatever the integer type you will give by default it will store here 
and this is your referenced variable okay so here it will store this value but here how to store the value right so we can write like that zero and if you want to store value one got it right so here you are holding this object and this will indicate your type if you are writing int a equal to 10 right so here the type will define integer type of an array so jvm and compiler will understand which type you are defining i am defining integer type of an array here right and this is your integer value now how to store how to access or store the value inside this array so you can see i am writing a of zero here it will store here now i'm writing a of one equal to two it will remove this it will store like that so this is the way to access the element if you want to access then again we can use this variable name and this bracket and you can access the each index which is available and which is defined inside this array so if you want to access or if you want to print or if you want to store or restore or reinitialize like that we can do as per the index value so now we having the two and now i'm going to store uh, three like that okay so it will store three so this is the internal structure of an array and now i'm going to uh guys uh hope uh, this issue is having to everyone or my skin is visible right yeah it's visible yes, go ahead. hi radhika i think uh, in your side we have a network issue or you can just uh, uh okay disconnect or connect one more time okay so now i'm just going to store the same value uh zero one Zero one, one, two, three, four. Okay, I'm just storing one, one, one. You guys can change the value as per your. You can see. Now we having the multiple element, right? So, be, if you want to print one by one, then you can. Uh, I think you can print like that. System dot 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 print ln. not sure guys let me uh, print this or we can use loop also let me try we can print like that only one second see if you want to access the single element or single index of the value so like that we can print one is printing right so like that you can print but it is not recommended but if you want have a specific then you can print that but here we can use loop concept okay you can see so you can just change this value also then it's good two three four and five now i'm going to print this using the for loop that is good if you want to print the specific index or a specific value then we can print like that but i want to print in i equal to zero i a dot length i plus plus okay in place of index i have iterated and i will use here i so let me explain this how this for loop will work Okay, this is the for loop. So here you can see inside this for loop, we have a initialization, three parties there. It will check the condition and it will do the increment and decrement. So integer here, we are initializing this variable and the first iteration and length is your variable in Java. It will find the size of array. You know, here the value is your five. So here what will happen the first iteration this is your first iteration this will initialize and it will check 
zero. A dot length means we will get the size is five. The first iteration will not go here. Okay. The first iteration is initialization and it will check the condition. Then here it will come. Right. So a of zero you will get it value. A of zero is your one. Then this job is completed. Initialization will complete. Then second iteration it will come i here. The second iteration, right? I will become one. Right. I will become one again. The condition is true. Then you will get again the control come here and it will get a of one. So a of one is your two. Right. Again the same thing is repeat. Right. Again this will increment. Then I will become two. Then here again you will get a of index of two value is your three. Then again it will so until if you have a index of uh, five then it will terminate but index till index four it will print all the value so this is how for loop will work if you will print now this you can see now i'm able to print one two three four five this is the one way to define an array but the disadvantage i have shown you right if you will try to uh, simply i can try to use f this will become float type right so you have defined integer type and if you are defining the float value if you want to store it is not applicable incompatible type lossy conversion so you have to use the same type whatever you have defined if you will exceed this the size you have defined right i am going to add one more element sorry this is your five and this is your six if i will compile this code able to compile but if you will execute this code java dot lang dot uh, array index or out of bond exception so these are the disadvantage of an array okay so this all the things we can again we can discuss in the collection concept okay so now these are the disadvantage of an array so you can define this array uh, like that also let me four five like that also i think we uh, we should use let me compile once yeah we are getting the same value right so we can you can define this array directly also or you can define as well so again depend upon uh, the our project requirement how we are using okay so we can define like that so now we can come this some theory regarding this whatever we have learned uh, second everyone set up java in your system yes ma'am anyone is there like you did not yeah, execute no. sorry anyone is there who did not execute any java program or you are radhika has uh, study we have connected but her system was very slow why this i think it's came uh, i don't know how this scratch will come i think this one uh. okay uh, so if you are not and we can uh, please start it okay so we have a java so introduction declaration we can see all the things and we have shown you this example okay the same example uh, we have, have here one more thing i want to discuss here uh, you guys can execute this code i will share this code in this previous code we are not able to store different type right means java in java we can store homogeneous type but this problem we are able to solve by using the object class type of an array okay if you will use object class type of an array then you will 
store any type again the question is what is the object class object class is a root class in the java if you are creating any class object classes by default will be there so we have a separate topic for object class we can uh, explore later but here you can understand when accept object if you are using any data type right like integer float or double or any type of an array you are only you can uh, store homogeneous homogeneous means same type like you have a define integer so we have a store integer type float then we can define the float type <coughs> sorry guys right but in the object class type you can store any type you can see uh, we are able to store 10 15 some something and I'll, I'll show you this example sometime what will happen in edit plus some issue will be there it will not work because of some setup or something you know system issue so i got it right so uh, <coughs> I don't know this code is there or not, or I can copy paste, or you guys can execute this code. Okay, okay, you guys can execute. You can just type in your system if you're not able to execute in your uh, edit plus. You can use the this. Okay, so here this problem we are able to resolve. But again, we having the many problem. The big problem is your the size problem, right? So this size problem we cannot fix, or we can you know it is a fixed. So what will happen? As per the project requirement, we cannot increase or decrease the size. Okay, so now we, we can go for the introduction of an array. An array is an index collection of fixed number of homogeneous data type. Here you guys can add one more point, except, you know, if you want to store heterogeneous type, mean different type, we can use object class of an array. The advantage of an array is we can represent a multiple value using a single variable, right? In the single variable, we are storing the multiple value. And it will uh, having the readability of the code, understanding of the code will be improved. But the disadvantage of an array is fixed in size, okay? Once we create an array with some size, then there is no chance to uh, increase or decrease decreasing the size based on our requirement hence the huge array concept is compulsory we should know the size in advance which is not possible what is the meaning of that just i can give you one example so you know the company uh, company database we having the employee database right so many the employees are uh, going to resign or the new employees are coming right so here data is not fixed right size is not fixed it will change as per the requirement but if you will use this uh, here if you will use the uh, this concept of an array concept then you are not able to maintain this all the things right so because of this is the big issue so that's why they have introduced in the collection okay so again i will come on the collection is a separate topic how to define the uh, array declaration how to declare an array right so this is the declaration of an array I'm not going to tell you the initialization right so how can declare like that you can declare an array at the time of array declaration we cannot uh, specify the size otherwise you will get compile time error so here you cannot define the size right declaration you cannot if you will do that you will get not a, a statement or illegal type okay so here you cannot define the size this is the 2d array okay i will give you some example of 2d also okay so then um, we'll see that in an example that is the only declaration and this is your 3d so 3d we are not going to explore 1d and 2d we can explore and 3d nobody will ask you if you have a 1d or 2d or 3d only one variable you can declare so definite definition itself uh, multiple value we can store in the single variable it is a 2d or 3d or any d right so here only one variable is allowed here you will get compile time error array creation how to create an array every java uh, sorry every array in the java is an object right so i have shown you that diagram hence we can create an array by using the new operator so this is the creation of an array I have shown you how it is, you know, working.
let me show you this example guys okay actually what happened uh, this is not visible every array we have a some corresponding classes okay integer this is the class name but it is not uh, visible for us it is a you know every array type corresponding classes are available and these classes are part of the java language not for not applicable for programming so this is the internal thing just i have added for your knowledge purpose this uh, sentence so every java we having the one correspondence classes correspondent you know we are creating an object right this is your object internally it is a class only that is called corresponding classes right so how to create an uh, object by using the class name reference variable new keyword and your constructor so internally this is your correspondence classes how to find this correspondent classes so here you can see i have defined 1d array this is just declaration of 2d don't understand how we can do that just i am going to find this corresponding classes inside this array so inside this uh, java we have a two method that is called inbuilt method get class or get name so by using this you will get the corresponding classes of uh, this array you can see you can see these are the corresponding correspondence classes we are getting nobody will ask you in the interview this all the things this is for your knowledge purpose okay so don't worry about that okay so here you can define a negative you cannot define this size as a negative if you will define this size as a negative you can see what happened if i will compile this code able to compile compile time we won't we get any error but if you will run time you will get java dot lang dot negative array size exception so size cannot defined as an you know uh, negative we cannot define the size okay we already know how to find the size of an array right by using the length variable so this is your one more interview questions uh, sorry i'll do one thing again i have to save this class right so better to have like that i'll copy this the class name is same right how to find the size so here size you can define as a zero okay so how to find the size of an array by using the length variable if you will find this a string this args uh, command led argument so here the size is also they have defined as a zero inside this main method also and this is also array right a string type of an array and finding the size of this and finding the size of this by using the length variable uh, mm -hmm. Again, uh, this mistake happened. Let me change the class name, okay? Okay, okay. So now we are getting the size is zero. Okay, guys, so I'm just going to stop your session. From Monday, uh, we can go for Java Selenium, okay? So, Till tomorrow, the session will be 8 to 8.30 to 9 o'clock. From Monday, we can start for 8 to 9. Okay. I'll send you the notes and video. Or if you guys are stuck somewhere, you're not able to execute the code, please reach out to me.